Uh, he has 166 touchdown passes once again and 133 interceptions. Do with that what you may, but he has a new job right now. So, Ryan Fitzpatrick in uh, in Tampa Bay. I know. How does he continue to get jobs? <laughs> I don't know. Mm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, yeah, uh, Fitzpatrick. Let me read some messages in the chat at Mospreaker.com. From, who is this we have in the chat? You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From Jam, part of the Horseman. He says, I disagree, Doug. Kendrick got two or three hits on radio right now. You know what, to be honest with you, I'm probably not the person to ask about, you know, what's hot, what's not. I'm a casual listener to FM radio today because nine times out of ten when I'm in the car, uh, I'm listening to talk radio. So, uh, when I do listen, I listen to sports radio in the morning sometimes or, or FM radio in the morning when I'm taking my daughter to school and I'll see what they're listening to, what they're playing. Um, so maybe Kendrick Lamar is getting his, his just due right now. and He just had an album drop, so that kind of makes sense. From Miss Mocabella, X Squad, damn it, Billboard Awards. Now we got to talk about rap music. Doug deflected from his red jacket talk. <laughs> From Dobby, I'm just going to ignore that, Mocha. From Dobby in the chat room with Spreaker.com, pardon my French, but why in the F word haven't you heard Kendrick's new joint yet, Doug? I just hadn't done it yet. No disrespect. I'm going to get it. Man, I've been crazy, crazy busy. Got a lot of big things in the work. A lot of big things coming up for the Doug Stewart Show and me. Uh, we'll be telling you about it here very soon. A lot of things are going on behind the scenes. Not with just with me, but with the network. And There's a lot of big things going on. Okay? And I've been busy. So to find time like I did yesterday. I laid in the bed all day yesterday. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. What the hell was that? So I laid in the bed, as I said earlier. I laid in the bed yesterday all day. And so as opposed to listening to Kendrick Lamar's new album or download or whatever the hell they call it these days, I watched Sons of Anarchy. And that was the first time that I've been able to do that in a while. So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to make an effort today to try to, you know, download it or whatever from iTunes and check it out. I heard everybody saying that's fantastic. I just hadn't had a chance yet, bro. Don't, don't get mad. <laughs> Sandman, he says, hey, Doug, listen to the kids, bruh, in my Kanye voice. <laughs> oh, that's the hot stuff today. Um, from Send the Nin- Ninjaville Pimp, the radio stations have turned to ish. Uh, <laughs> I, I just don't, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. From Raider for Life, lyrics from Run DMC, you don't even know your English, your verb or your nouns, you're a sucker MC, you sad face clown, it's a new day in rap. Yeah, with mumble rappers, just that verse just now, you saying it made sense. You could understand the words coming out of their mouth. It wasn't a total repetitive song of the word panda. From Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast, Young M.A., Doug. Is a young ma or young M.A.? I'm not sure of the difference, but she can go. For Run CNC, Kendrick, Logic, and Future is all you need right now. I'm not really a fan, and, and shots out to him for making his money. I don't understand the infatuation with Future Eva. I mean, kind of comparable to the Panda thing, Future does the same thing. He's got a song out right now, and he's talking about sauce the entire song. Too much sauce. That's too much sauce. That's too much sauce. That's too much sauce. Well, damn, stop putting so much damn sauce on your food. <laughs> From Tiffany Pool in Portland, Comptroller Inville. Also, Clear Channel owns most of the radio stations in America. No matter the genre, they all have a playlist that they must adhere to. It's payola as fine as the DJs, the program directors at each local station, and their on-air broadcasting managers have no power whatsoever. 
and deviating from the playlist. Now, that's true. I understand that. That's true. And that's part of the problem uh, where a lot of these major conglomerate stations, like she just talked about Clear Channel, a couple of years ago, man, they went and bought up like all the secondary smaller network stations. And you're right. They're basically all following the, the beat of the same drummer. And they're getting their uh, their direction from up top. And these major, once again, entities like Clear Channel, they own a gazillion stations. They do. You ever notice how there's a hot so-and-so in every city? Every city there's a hot 107.9 or there's a hot 97 or there's a hot 105. Point. All of those are the same company. Yes, from Clay Cross Colors Davis, yes, and Trump has an agreement where more private prisons will pop up. You know, I read something about that this past weekend, man. From Sin, the Ninjaville Pimp, y'all been begging for this damn song. Oh, he's talking about the monkey song. <laughs> the monkey song during the break. From LD, said you still want to defend Kobe Poke ass, Doug. <laughs> Uh, since you still want to defend Kobe Poke ass, Doug, and keep moving the goalposts with your arguments, when he was a vet in the 04 playoffs against my going to work Pistons, his punk ass scored 11 points in 44 more, uh, minutes, going two for 16. How are you going to move the goalposts now? That's actually a good point. If that's an actual fact, which I don't doubt that that's a fact, I don't think you would put a, a lie in the chat room for me to just read and repeat a lie. If that's a fact, that's a bad game as well. I mentioned how a lot of these guys have bad games. The example you gave earlier about the 97-98 season wasn't a good one because he was in his first, second year in the league. That wasn't a good one. If that's the case with Kobe and he had an 11-point game and hit two shots in the entire game at that point in his career, that's a bad night. I still would take Kobe Bryant over LeBron James if I had the choice. Now what? (laughs) Right, I still would if I had the choice. From Fell Pay, rational explanation for the trash mumble rap music, the combination of dumbing down, degradation, incarcerating, and providing false role models for our youth. The real question is, who owns the record companies? At the end of the day, they decide what gets released, radio play, and financially back for public consumption. That's a good point, what we were talking about earlier. And I always forget that. I always, I said this earlier, and you're listening to the Doug Short Show. I always blame Lil Yahtzee and Panda Man (laughs) and Lil Uzi Vert and them for for the bad music. It's it's not their fault. They make bad music. They're just trying to get on. They're just trying to make some money. So really, I, I, I'm, I'm going to make sure that going forward, and I, I know this, but I forget about it. I just get caught up in what I hear. It's not their fault that their music is shitty. What would you expect a shitty artist to make? Shitty music, right? I'm sure those young men are doing the best of their their ability. The real problem is what gets played. And we know that there's thousands and thousands and thousands upon thousands of great rappers out there, young rappers out there, that got real skill or real lyricists, can flow. You know, they got it all. There's tons of them in Atlanta. There's tons of them all over this country. It, it's it's clearly something more behind the scenes going on where Panda Man can get on radio and you got all these great artists around, man, artists that we play on this show that can't get, get no love. From Clay Cross Colors Davis, I swear if you get a fire beat, you can say anything over that track. Wow. Mm. From uh, Loose Neck Fifth Horseman Psy, Doug wearing that ruby red grapefruit jacket. No, no, it's not grapefruit. That's 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 kind of salmon, salmon color. My wife calls it salmon color as well. It's salmon color or or, or, or grapefruit color, not ruby red grapefruit, just grapefruit color or, or hot pink. <laughs> I'm 
Truck D says to hell with the motorcycles. Pay attention to the storyline. You're right, right. I'm not saying it's, it's all about the motorcycles, but uh, I needed to get better real fast. From Bro Babe, the Shadow Ninja, he says, we all want to be bad guys. That's do good things, I think. Talking about the fascination with motorcycle gangs. From Mr. Harper, Duck and Chief, he's just giving a bunch of shots out. Texas Ty, X Squad, what up, Texas Ty? If you don't like motorcycles, solid chance you'll get tired of Sons of Anarchy because there's bikes in every episode. No, it's not I don't like them, but I'm just not infatuated by them. Like, it seems like a lot of uh, Americans are. I mean, they're cool. You know, my brother's got a, uh, what does he have? Like, my brother's a big bike enthusiast. He has a uh, uh, a, a Hayabusa, like it's like a 1200 or something like that. And he doesn't really ride it a lot anymore, man, but uh, he's loved motorcycles his entire life. I mean, it's cool. It's cool to see a guy roll up by you. and uh, They drive real haphazard here in Atlanta, man. On the highways here, they treat the damn highways. They treat, they treat 20, the bike riders treat 20 and 285, man, like a freaking drag strip. They'll come zooming in and out of traffic in between cars. And you understand why people die all the time on them things, man. It's just crazy how they ride these motorcycles. But, nah, motorcycles ain't going to, they don't really excite me like that like it does most people. Uh, they cool, but, you know, I mean, I can take it or leave it. A rough Buff says Doug still ride mini bikes. Fly Ty. He says, talking about bikes, they found mine that got stolen three years ago out damn Texas. Hope it was you that had it, Texas. Laugh out loud. Fly Ty, you ride motorcycles too? I didn't know that, cuzzo. From EJ from Chi Town. Doug, when is Floyd Mayweather going to sign the contract against McGregor? Remember, Floyd went on first take to call McGregor out. McGregor signed. Where's your man Floyd's signature at? It's going to happen, but Floyd going to get everything. He's going to get everything that he wants. Yeah, this is a negotiation. There's no need to rush. They're going to get it done. That fight is going to happen. And Floyd is going to crick McGregor's ass. Period. EJ from Chi Town sounds like that you're uh, a Conor McGregor enthusiast. Your boy going to get his ass kicked. <laughs> Believe that. Believe that. You probably thought Pacquiao was going to beat him too, right? And De La Hoya. Right? And Ricky Hat. The list goes on and on. Fight's going to happen. It's going to happen. Back in three minutes. Money, fuck y'all. Yeah, open 